The Electric Power Research Institute is conducting trailblazing work to create trading exchanges that assign economic value to the improvement of water quality across an entire watershed. There is real potential to bring together parties as different as farmers and factories to combine this economic value with environmental protection. Nutrients are good, helping plants to grow and feed us all. But in aquatic environments, too much can cause problems, such as excessive plant growth and fish kills. Nutrients come from many sources in a watershed, from residential, cars, wastewater, septic systems, industrial facilities, and agriculture. So how can everyone work together to improve water quality? Trading. Here's how it works. A facility operates under a permit that limits its discharge of nutrients into a stream. One option is to install expensive treatment technology to manage this discharge. Another option is to pay a farmer to reduce nutrients in the watershed. The farmer also has options. Reduce fertilizer use, plant cover crops, or plant trees and grasses along streams. Such farming practices reduce nutrients and can help restore the water and translate into credits. The facility can use the credit to meet its permit limit. The facility meets its permit at lower cost. The farmer gets paid to do better farming practices. And most important, the watershed receives something of value, cleaner water. Water quality trading has the potential to link up demand and supply, and to put money to work across the watershed. When we look at where nutrients come from, there's a whole suite of contributors, and it's a very complex issue to try to address. So you have farmers, you have power plants, wastewater treatment plants, you have atmospheric deposition, which means basically you have emissions of nutrients that go up into the air and get deposited elsewhere. And in our project, the focus of those that are generating credits is primarily farmers and agriculture. They can take conservation actions on their farms that make sense for them to do anyway um, and generate credits that folks uh, like wastewater treatment plants and power plants can purchase. What we've done is try to develop this series of agreements that fit together and if there's any elegance to them they're exceedingly simple and straightforward that lay out the basic obligations of each party, um, the consequences of not performing those obligations and woven throughout these agreements is the idea that we are all collaborating on something very new and very exciting. What's unique about the Ohio River Basin it's the first multi-state trading program and where you have three states come together to agree the methodologies, to agree the standards, to agree the processes, and to allow for cross-state trading. So the farmer is able to take the private source of funding and his funding to invest back in his farm that can make a difference in the community as well. And these projects will stay for years. They won't just be here today and gone tomorrow. They'll, we'll be able to come out and take pride in those practices five, six, eight, ten years down the road. We see a number of potential advantages. If we ultimately have nutrient limits on our power plants, a trading program may provide us with a more cost-effective compliance solution. But maybe even more importantly, there's potential from a broader societal basis to achieve ancillary benefits with a trading program that go beyond just uh, our power plants, that go to uh, how um, the river is used, that go to farming practices, uh, that go to improving the overall ecosystem of the river and its tributaries. Oh, last year we had a drought pretty well up here and we really didn't quite have enough hay for the cattle. And I had wheat here previously, started to prepare the ground. We combined the wheat to probably the second week of July and let it grow up a little bit, killed it with touchdown and drilled new alfalfa. This is why we have the whole project, is we have guys like you that are interested in putting something on the ground. And, and for us, this helps reduce the nitrogen and phosphorus that's running mm -hmm. off into the water from the, yep. from the farmland. And it does away with erosion. There will be no erosion here at all. It saves the soil, and I think we can raise this as good a crop as the guy that tills it. And then you get the big rains and it washes away. 
Well, in the past, it was just rutted up and from where the cattle had walked. All the topsoil that was here was gone and it was just the old hard clay, a lot of rocks. Um, I actually got with a local NRCS office and they, she recommended a, I put in this pad and there's a, um, a, a type of fabric that goes on the base layer and you cover that with uh, up to six to eight inches of just gravel and limestone mix. And then you top that with this ag lime and then compact it. It's not a smooth surface, but it's a good solid surface and hopefully it'll eliminate all my, my runoffs and make it more pleasurable for me and my cows. This is a big partnership I and mean, it's not just a small thing. It, it might be that we're only working with so many farmers, a few landowners here in each county, but nationwide when you get a big corporation that, that works with Farmland Trust and then goes to the each State Department of Agriculture, uh, the USDA, we can work with them. All you need is the Soil and Water Conservation District. You just work with those, then you're wide open to all the farmers and landowners in that area. Once you can get farmers and point source people, whether it's power plants, municipalities, other industry, uh, talking together about our problem rather than pointing fingers, you just made light years of progress in, in approaching those problems. And the rigor that every step of this project has gone undergo is, is, is second to none as far as any of the, uh, the trading programs that I'm aware of. We are generating what I believe is the most scientifically valid credit trading program uh, in the United States and, and around the world. Uh, there are other programs that are out there and uh, the fact that we've been given the opportunity to prove that models can uh, provide a lot of these answers will really make a very robust uh, trading program. Aside from being a model of how to improve water quality, I think potentially what you have here as well is a model of how serious problems should be addressed uh, as opposed to the normal process of uh, a regulatory initiative followed by 10 years of lawsuits. In the simplest form, a registry is an online web-based platform which allows the tracking of an environmental credit in a secure environment. You want to ensure trust and confidence, efficiency, as well as include maximum participation. Right now we're in a pilot period and we have a few farmers that we're working with, but you can imagine the impacts that it can have and benefits to the ecosystem when it's implemented on thousands of farms across the Ohio River Basin. And if you think about the way that the watersheds and the ecosystems work, you get all the rain coming down, it runs through all this soil and carries everything to the water. It reduces nutrients and sediment and it's quantified in a way that you can convert those reductions into credits that are verified and have serial numbers and that others can use either for stewardship purposes or to comply with their permit limits.